Welcome to Solana's leading decentralized exchange, Radium, the home to swapping and providing liquidity for all of the newest, trending and most popular Solana tokens. In this video, we will provide you with a complete guide on how to swap and provide liquidity on the Radium protocol. Nonetheless, nothing in this video is financial advice. We are not financial advisors. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet for extra security and always conduct your own research. Before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to support our channel and stay up to date with the latest crypto guides, reviews, news, technical analysis and so much more. Friends, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, okay, okay. So, my friends, are you ready to begin with the Radium tutorial? Well, first of all, we are on the Radium website, which is radium.io. We've got the official X page, which is at Radium Protocol. Give them a follow, turn on the notification bells to stay up to date with everything regarding the Radium Protocol and the Solana ecosystem. Now, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to very simply show you how to use the Radium Decentralized Exchange, which is notorious for enabling users to swap tokens on the Solana network. However, we are also going to show you the liquidity section of this protocol, as we will be showing you how to provide liquidity in any pool, of which we are going to show you one pool as an example. Nonetheless, there are more features on the Radium Decentralized Exchange, which we will briefly go through. Nonetheless, we are going to very simply show you how to get started with swapping tokens on the Radium DEX. Now, what we're going to do is, my friends, we're very simply going to get started by connecting our wallet. Now, the first step is to have a Solana wallet. And if you don't have one, such as a Phantom, OKX, or even Backpack or Soulflare wallet, then you can very simply watch a tutorial on our YouTube channel in order to get started with a Phantom wallet. So if you are new to the Solana ecosystem, then that video will show you how to get started and how to have Solana tokens within your wallet. But assuming that you already have tokens in your Phantom wallet, just like I do here, I have 1.72 Solana. What we're going to very simply do is get started by connecting our wallet. So as we can see, we've got two places where we can connect our wallet. So in the top right corner, I'm going to click this button. As you can see here, we are prompted with a few options and therefore I am going to go with my automatic one, which is the Phantom Wallet. Here, guys, we can see that I've already connected my wallet to the Radium Decentralized Exchange. Straight away, we are prompted to swap our tokens. So to get started, you are going to very simply want to choose a token that you want to sell. Therefore, the token up top is the token you are selling, and down below is the token that you want to buy into, also buy. And if we choose a token up top, let's just say it was Solana tokens that we wanted to sell. If now down below we wanted to choose a token to buy into, it could be USDC, the stablecoin, for example, I could very simply enter an amount of Solana that I want to choose to buy USDC. If I was to do 0.04, which is roughly $8.57, it would then configure the best swap for me. And as you can see down below, we are going to see all the associated fees and everything regarding the swap that I'm doing. So once you are ready to swap your Solana tokens into USDC and you confirm that this is what you want, this is obviously just a tutorial and I'm not telling you to buy anything. We are going to very simply click the swap button once you are ready. Once you click the swap button, my friends, straight away in your Phantom wallet, you are going to be prompted with the details once again. If you are ready and you agree, you just click the confirm button. And as you can see, straight away, the swapping is being processed. And very soon, we'll have our tokens just like so. Now, once you've got your USDC tokens, guys, it is very simply going to appear in your Phantom wallet or whichever wallet that you've used. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see the USDC tokens appear here on the Solana network. Now, if by any chance you are ready or you wanted to swap your USDC tokens, it is very simple. You would just prompt the USDC token above, which you can do by clicking this reverse button. Here, you can very simply choose an amount of USDC that you want to sell back into Solana or any other token for that matter. It doesn't have to be sold, but it can be any token that you choose within the Radium DEX. Therefore, guys, it is entirely up to you if you wanted to perform this swap, which as you can see, we would do the same thing by confirming it in our Phantom Wallet. It is very straightforward, and that is how to swap tokens. Now, many of you are probably wondering how to provide liquidity. Now, liquidity, what is it in a nutshell? Well, it enables users to earn from the fees generated from a liquidity pool of which users are buying and selling. So if we take a look at the liquidity pools, for example, we've got sold to USDC, sold to USDT, sold to AI16Z. On the right hand side, guys, you can see the associated liquidity, the amount of volume that is being generated every single 24 hours, the fees that are being generated within those 24 hours, and of course, the associated APR. 
Now the APR represents the amount that you're going to be generating from rewards. And therefore, if for example, you take a look at the sold to USDC, this is a very popular liquidity pool. Now for those who are providing liquidity, which means that you're providing Solana tokens and USDC tokens, you will actually earn from this pool from users who are swapping these tokens. And as you can see in the last 24 hours, they've earned $16,922, which is then earned by the people providing liquidity. However, you can also see other tokens, guys. So it depends on which pools that you want to provide liquidity for. You want to take a look at certain metrics before you do obviously provide liquidity. And you must be extremely careful, my friends, when providing liquidity. Why is this? Because there are many risks associated with it. And you must conduct your own research before you invest a single cent into liquidity pools. You must know everything about liquidity pools before you invest anything. And therefore, you must conduct your own research in your own time. And if you are ready to do so, guys, we are going to show you how to deposit liquidity. So say, for example, we just did this sold to USDC pool. It has a liquidity of $7.28 million, makes me feel comfortable. And over $169 million has been conducted in volume in the last 24 hours alone. So if we go to the right hand side where it says deposit, here, guys, we're going to need to make sure that we have SOL tokens and USDC tokens. Now, we only have SOL and we're going to need to get ourselves some USDC. And in order to do this, we're going to have to go back to the swap section. So once we're ready, we go back over to swap and we're going to put Solana up top or whichever token you are selling and USDC down below. Now, this is only a tutorial and I'm not telling you to participate in this pool whatsoever. However, continuing with the video, let's just say I did 0.044. I'm going to do roughly $9.43 of Solana and swap it into USDC. If I click swap, I'm now going to initiate the transaction and click confirm in my phantom wallet. Once it has been processed and I can see that I've got the tokens, which I can see that I do, I can now go back over to liquidity. We're going to confirm that we're using the sold to USDC pool of which we can confirm has an APR of 87.15%. Absolutely fantastic. So if we click deposit, here, we need to now choose how much we want to deposit into this pool. Therefore, I'm going to very simply choose 50% of the USDC tokens and automatically it's going to balance out the amount of soul that is required to deposit in this pool. So you're going to need to make sure that you have both the tokens of the required pool. It doesn't have to be sold to USDC. You can replicate this across any liquidity pool on Radium. However, on the left hand side, you are now going to check out the price range. So depending on which ones you want to choose, guys, is entirely up to you. However, the more that you are choosing, the more volatile that it's going to be. And therefore, if you do choose these options, although there are more rewards with these pools, does come with more risk. However, if you were just to choose the automated one, which is 0.1%, you can see here that we're going to roughly earn an APR of 4,327%, which is absolutely nuts. But my friends, please, of course, pay close attention to everything that you're doing within this liquidity pool or anything in the world of DeFi. And of course, conduct your own research before you invest a single cent. So if you're comfortable, you'd create a position. As you can see here, we're going to deposit $9.50 in total. Now we're going to click confirm deposit. And as you can see in our wallet, we are now going to see a pop-up of which we are going to get an unknown thing, which is going to be our LP tokens. And they're going to deduct USDC and Solana from our wallet in order to provide liquidity. So once I click confirm, as you can see, it is now depositing into the pool. And voila, we have now got our NFT mint, which represents our LP tokens. Do not burn this NFT or you'll be unable to remove liquidity. If you send this NFT to another wallet, only the new wallet will be able to remove liquidity. So if you want to check out your positions, which are your LP positions, you can now see that down below, we've got a position of $8 roughly that we've provided sold to USDC with a current fee tier of 0.01%. If you were to click on it, as you can see, it will open up and you'll be able to see the amount of rewards that you've earned, the yield here in Radium, USDC and SOL tokens. Also, my friends, you'll be able to see the APR of trade fees and Ray tokens. And of course, if you are ready to withdraw or if you want to add more to it, you can see the little plus and minus icon. The minus icon will withdraw. And as you can see here, you will just choose the amount that you want to withdraw. You can choose any amount whatsoever. It could be the entire amount. It could be 57%, whatever you like. However, if you wanted to add more, you would click the plus icon. On the plus icon, you just very simply choose how much you want to add. If it was another $150 of each, it is entirely up to you and you would see all the associated fees, the liquidity that you're providing and so on. But my friends, that is very simply how to provide liquidity and you can see all of your assets that you provided in liquidity pools on your portfolio. 
Up the top, my friends, if you go to more, we have now got staking. And for those who want to stake Radium tokens, which are the native tokens of the platform, you can earn a rough APR of 4.95%, of which if you click on it, all you'd have to do is get yourself Ray tokens and stake them. However, guys, that is not for everyone, and this is not a feature that most people may use. But if it is, then very simply, you would get yourself some Ray tokens and deposit it onto the platform to earn an APR of 4.95%. So up again in the more section where it says staking right now, we have also got a bridge. And this has been an imported bridge from Wormhole, which means that Radium utilizes Wormhole to bridge assets to and from Solana. And therefore we can see many different networks such as Ethereum, Polygon, Avalanche, Base, Arbitrum, or Optimism, of which we can bridge assets from over to the Solana network. If you wanted to bridge assets from the Solana network to any of those networks, once again, the floor is yours, but it will have to be USDC or any of the other assets that are available and compatible with these networks. So, my friends, you very simply know how to swap tokens. You very simply know how to provide liquidity and you very simply know how to stake or bridge if you wanted to. My friends, that is the Radium Decentralized Exchange tutorial in a nutshell. Make sure that you smash that like button and you smash that subscribe button to support our channel. It really means the world to us, my friends. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please let us know them in the comment section down below. And if you want us to cover any video or make any tutorial whatsoever, you can also let us know and we'd be happy to help. Friends, we appreciate you so much and we can't wait to see you in the next video.